Leaders at the San Francisco Health Department want people to get vaccinated for COVID, flu, RSV. The recommendation comes following the city's first recorded flu death of the season. Flu is surging across the United States, as is COVID-19 right now, which remains at high levels all across the nation. Tonight, Cron 4's Dan Kerman speaks with experts about who's getting COVID-19 and what you can do to protect yourself. Wastewater data in Santa Clara County shows COVID levels remain high. It's a similar situation across much of the state and the country. Wastewater is telling us what we probably all are seeing in our lives, and that is there's an awful lot of people getting infected with this virus right now and getting sick. And while cases are surging, so are hospitalizations. The people who are uh, hospitalized right now uh, and, and generally who are doing poorly and might be dying are people who are older generally older than 75, and haven't gotten a vaccine uh, for a year or so. So I think that's the general population in the hospital. The good news is most who get COVID are not being hospitalized. This suggests that the background immunity that we all have now, roughly 97% of the American population has either had COVID or been vaccinated or some combination of those two. And that background immunity is giving us pretty good protection. But even if not hospitalized, getting COVID still puts the brakes on your routine and could put others at risk. It could be so disruptive to school, to work, um, to social events. And don't forget, there are always going to be people who are older, who are very immune compromised amongst us, and they may get more seriously affected. That's why doctors say it's still not too late to get the updated COVID vaccine that was released in September. And depending on your risk level, you may want to take additional precautions while COVID levels remain high. I'm taking care to wear that mask whenever I'm out in public indoors. So that's just, um, that mask is with me now. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.